better push that down and we'll see how much we can record on the iPhone too. Um, mm -hmm. So you said it's it's mixed. I mean, if a kid yeah, does smash an it, iPad or lose some work... They've got or, it. Yeah. And they've got absolutely everything in detail. Right. And my colleagues literally said it's too much. Mm. Uh, they're being bamboozled. They don't know if they have to learn all of it. And I'm like, well, actually, you don't because you're not in the lesson. Right. But I tell them, it's got all the key information. If you want to know more, go on. Right. If you missed it, go on. It's not you must learn every slide off by heart. Mm. But obviously there, are, there will be those six children who will have those six parents that say this is far too much to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but So that's what my colleagues see, and theirs are very different. Theirs are, you must learn these topics. It is in your exercise book. It is in the textbook. Learn it. What about that, that dissonance then within a department? If you've got one person blazing a trail and doing very impressive stuff, I mean, some parents are obviously going to love that. Um, well, is there a sense that, oh, that, don't get too far ahead because you're making the rest of us look bad? or? Um, well, the guy in my department, though, he's just really green. He just needs all the help he can get. He's mm. not a teacher. He doesn't like teaching, really. He enjoys certain aspects, but he just wants to be a, a vicar. Mm -hmm. But you've got a chaplain's assistant role. If you're going to be in a chaplain's assistant in school, you've got to teach. Mm. Um, he was supposed to go to the history department, but they didn't want him, so they gave him to me. Because oh. um, he's got a degree in history, so yeah, welcome to Only RS, which I'll be bringing up in my meeting next week. Um, and you can't just do that and then expect me to make it fixed for him. I've yeah. created an idiot guide for him, you know, and we, you know, we joke about it and we call it an idiot guide because anyone, one of my sixth formers, they could teach that lesson. Right. You just have the rest with it. Um, but kids wise they either say yeah it's too much or it's not enough. They don't know how to they don't know how to use it. But I think if they actually listen to me, they would. Right. Um, yeah, it's basically you've got all the information. You can take your your um, folders home now for revision, bring them back in when the revision's over. So sure. I've got a bank. Mm -hmm. Again, my colleagues have said actually no, they want the folders going home all the time. But they will lose paper like it has been. And so they said to get rid of folders, go to exercise books, less likely to lose them. Sure. However, all we'd be doing is gluing every lesson. So that's an argument I have to have uh, next week, right. which I'll probably lose. But I just, again, I'm lower down the pecking order. I do what I'm told. Well, I mean, if it's any help, other schools have. Um, I've done this research in a number of schools and I've heard that before. And um, people have reference the the SAMRA model which you may have heard of um, um, we'll talk about that when we go over if you like it's not really relevant to this conversation okay. the point is that there is this professional learning community that isn't just people you know it's online and it's mm. I, I have come across that quite a lot of the time that people are saying well I've got to do this traditional version and what we're basically doing is taking something that was existing perfectly well in the virtual world printing it out and sticking it in the exercise book just so we can say there there's is. a physical copy of it which does seem a little bit which is what I've had to do yeah. And so Vicky said, no, you're not allowed to print my other, which I, fair enough, but I only asked the my year sevens to print off their books mm. because I got told from the people above it needs to be printed and in their folder. Mm. It's like, what are you doing to me? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing to me? So the kids are getting t told off for of printing. Mm. I'm getting told off for of not having printing. Can I please all the people all the time? No, absolutely. Um, well, we're, we're kind of nearly there. <laughs> um, that was, a, uh, I guess... Um, a roundabout way of answering question number nine about it the, was uh, really yeah, yeah, I've just looked at that. I'm just double checking I've got everything yeah no I've just you know underlined you need someone driving it really right for good or for bad really and what about monitoring so that it remains effective how's, yeah. how's that happening again I think it's you know we have our uh, updates when we are reviewed are you using your iPads mm -hmm. um, but then again that comes down to to teachers when you observe each other is there a is there an agreed definition theoretically yes my deputy head I have, I have a lot of time for the man so it may seem actually I'm quite against this uh, Mr Nick Hoagden but, but I'm not at all uh, but when he came to observe me doing a lesson last year I got good with some elements um, and he told me actually some of the philosophical stuff we were doing it was too much didn't need to do it uh, and, and that was it you know okay you survive pads good start with the essay writing format you know, some kids actually prefer when writing essays, their exams mostly are handwritten, so we're going to do it handwritten, right. we're going to plan handwritten. So I, I built that in. With their iPads, they photograph it, and that's their evidence. Um, you know, and that was good with elements. Right. Um, I had the head of philosophy, who was also the head of the G&T stuff in the senior school, he came and saw exactly the same lesson. Um, 
and he said, absolutely outstanding, I can't afford anything, I have to come up with something, can you think of anything? And I went, well, I did actually forget to lolly stick when I did the questions. He, oh, went, yeah. he went, well, I thought you did that on purpose, because you went to all the quieter ones in the room. I, went, I know, but that's just me, but I should have lolly sticked. <laughs> and that, that was it. Yeah. Um, you kind of Do they observe together? No. Okay. No. I have, um, I have Nick in a few weeks' time probably observing me, um, because whatever my targets are of next week, I then have to put in place by the time I'm observed in, I think, week two of Lent term, mm-hmm. or at least be progressing in that area. But it was just interesting, if it was the other way around, yeah. I would have delivered on every target. For example, the, in this argument, this theological argument about design, um, the philosopher compares the world and stuff to an eye and how complex an eye is. But actually, it's not in comparison to the world. Someone must have designed it, God, theoretically. Um, and he said, y- you know, you didn't need to include the eye. And um, the philosopher that knows his stuff went, I'm so glad you included the eye. It's the most important bit of it. Mm. But then it's just, do you know your, your context? Are you looking just for a a good lesson or are you looking for style what are you looking for right so yeah interesting but then but then um, that's just professional opinion no it, it is it is and what can you do so and, but I did it on purpose just to make right just for me basically for my humour um, exactly the same lesson delivered in the same way I actually delivered it to a lower ability group uh, but I put in even harder questions because mm. I thought that bit I didn't think was good enough my questioning it was okay um different answers but, but then you're going to get that but I yes. will continue to do it I will continue to use the eye brand um, I, I want to create um, as I'm going to say next week after Christmas I want to work well before Christmas I want to work with Vicky to make sure there's an iTunes U course for the year 7s yeah. for the, my colleague that doesn't really know what he's doing it is dare I say textbook teaching but from an iTunes U course right so what the nature. Americans call a teacher proof curriculum well, that's anyone can step in and do it. Well, that's what yeah. I'd, I'd need to do. Yeah. But that's what I want. So to So you will in. author that with Vicky then, presumably. Yeah. If I get the go ahead from the, the people ahead. that have told me what I'm doing isn't good enough. Okay, um, I'm going to have to stop there anyway because we're we're out of time. But well, uh, this has been fascinating. Um, well, I hope it's been okay. I wondered if um, if you wouldn't mind. You know, I'm I'm bound to be. I'm going to be typing this up hopefully in the next week or two. Of if I could get back to you and, uh, you know, if there's anything that I'd, I'd missed or if there's any sort of, of follow-up that I'd love to... So if you can hang on to that, you know, don't... Yes, uh, of course. Um, don't bin it or something, that'd be great. Not a problem. And since I've got, I've got 20 minutes before the next person's coming in, if I'm going to shut this off now. Right.